Hello everyone and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. We are here in the big city of Saint-Denis and um, it's actually getting late. It's 5.30 in the evening. So it's going to be dark like real soon. Um, now we've never been here <laughs> so we have some exploring to do. Um, we also, for the main quest, we have to find Angelo Bronte, or we need to at least seek information about him. And, but before we do any of those things, I think I would like to find a store or find a, a there's a general store there. There's a fence. I could sell my can I sell pelts to my to a fence? I can't remember if I did that before or not. Cause is there there's a trapper. Can you sell pelts to trapper? Yes, good. Okay, we need to go find that guy. And I can sell the pelts I have. And we need to go to a hotel. Probably. Hmm. I don't know if that's a hotel as well as a saloon. What's this? A photo studio. Hmm. Interesting. Should go see what that does. Um, I want to cut my hair. So we need to go find a barber. So there's several things that I want to do. And so this episode's probably going to be very, um, yeah, filled with things like that. So I'm going to go to the to the trapper first since it's first on this list of things I want to do. But we might stop at some of these other things along the way as well. Anyway. Although I just noticed there's a butcher and he would also buy my pelts. Hmm. Well, hmm. I actually want to check out the trapper because I've not done, I've not gone to a trapper before. So, all right, let's just take a kind of a slow ride through the city and check it out. Because I've never been this far in before. I gotta make sure I don't run over anybody. It's a very noisy place, isn't it? I don't know if it's as noisy in the recording as it is in my ears, but the roar of this city is pretty loud to me. Hello. Hi. Okay. Lots of like factory offices and stuff like that. And is this a park? Looks like a little park. Alright, interesting. Good evening. We've got guys performing. Newspaper. Interesting. train station? I believe it is. Good evening, sir. Good evening. And what are these things? It's a newsstand, okay. Wow. Well. <laughs> I didn't know people back then were so... Um, Alright, so up here, we're gonna go this way. Jade Dragon Restaurant. So this is Chinatown. <laughs> Can you actually eat in these places, I wonder? Hmm. Well, now I'm seeing it at night, which I didn't want to do. Which is why I wanted to find a hotel. Kindness? 
Flee. You. Yeah. Flee. Coin. Flee. Flee. Won't you lend a coin? Okay, fine, 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 fine. I will lend you a coin. I'll give you 25 cents. Go get yourself something to eat. Sir, I want you to have this. Thanks, friend. Simple. It's nice to give something instead of just begging. Yeah. I hate asking for money like a goddamn oh, God. worm. Groveling here in the dirt. <sighs> well, okay. <sighs> Look, all the lights came on. Nice. Wow, this is a dirty city. But I guess back then they were. All right, so we're here. Saint Saint Denis Market. All right. Um, you're not going to get run over by the trolley, are you? Because... That's... Oh... Okay, I'll move, I'll move. Move yourself! I'm moving! Evening to you. Okay. Now, is there a safer place to hitch my horse? I guess not. You'd think that they would uh, make it so that the trolley doesn't run over your horse. Parker, this direction. There's a little bit more room to get through. Okay. So this is the market. Interesting. Oh my word. What is this? Statue. Yes, sir. Uh, hi. Good evening. What is this? Okay. A Good naked evening. mother and her daughter. Well, hello there. Neoma. Hi. Uh, oh, here's the trap. Right I'm complaining. Here. Hello, sir. First hi. time here, I think. Yes, it is. Um, I want to sell you my pelts. All right, let's have a look. <laughs> I only just have two pelts. I've have just been carrying them around for I yeah, really miss it because I keep child the whole country. Because I keep forgetting. Goes, I oh, I remember I caught those fish and then I never gave them to the to the uh Good Lord. Hmm. I can actually sell fish for a decent amount. Hmm. Interesting. Alright. Um Got the best apples here. Ain't a worm in any of them. Good day for some shopping, eh? Oh, I can actually buy these things. So I can buy carrots for silver bill. Howdy. Howdy. Can I buy pumpkins? No, I cannot buy pumpkins. I can buy carrots and corn, that's all. Okay. I'm fine. Fine, fair some. enough, fair enough, fair enough. It's dark. I think I want to do this after it gets light out. So I think the next thing I should do is go find a hotel. Oh, hello. Now, something else. that, um... Dear God, no! Dear God, no what? Hi. Um... Yeah, now let's find that hotel. Now, I, I'm not sure if it is a hotel. This place, it's a saloon, and usually you can rent rooms at saloons, but not always. So, we'll find out about that. What is this? Oh, the right, photo studio. And I wonder what this is. Could just be some random person sitting in some random place. Anyway, I hope that it's a hotel because I really want to sleep and pass the time of day. And, um, chances are, though, if I go there, yeah. it's gonna start that quest. Oh my, there's a dead horse. 
Why is it just Jesus. exactly? Poor thing. Did he get hit by the trolley? Somebody just gonna meet there. Anyway, chances are it's gonna start to quest when I go in there. Is this it? Wow, this is seedy looking. <laughs> Surely it is. Where's a hitching post? There aren't any. Everybody's very upset about that horse. Um, I don't know where to hitch. Okay. I'm gonna go around the corner here, see if there's any place. Cause I don't want anyone to steal my horse. There's there's a spot. Wow, this is a creepy part of town, isn't it? All right. <clears throat> you better be here in the morning. Girl, you better be. <laughs> okay. Let's go in here and hope for the best. <laughs> um no, this isn't it. I thought it was. Where's the door? Oops. Is door in here. Well, come on. I thought that this was it. It's locked. Oh, wrong door. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to barge in. Inquire about Bronte. Right. This is gross. Can I buy a room here? Or not? Hey, friend. I I'm new in town. Supposed to be meeting a man called Angelo Bronte. Any idea where I might find him? Not in here, that's for sure. If he wants to drink anywhere, it would be the, the Bastille Saloon opposite the park with the Quincy Harris statue. Appreciate it. Just watch yourself. He's got quite the reputation. Oh. Is that where I can... Okay, I can't actually get a room here. Looks like. This is... Definitely... I don't know if you would want to stay here. <laughs> okay, so the Bastille Saloon. That's this hot place, probably. This is the only place left on the map. The others went away. Oh, I can pl Oh, yes, I can play poker and there's a saloon there. So possibly I might be able to get a room there. Probably by the time I find a room, it will be morning. At least with my luck, it will be morning by then. Come on, girl. How do you do? Yeah, I definitely don't think I want to stay there. <laughs> All right, um, let me just mark this on the map. And let's try to get there without. Um, getting robbed and murdered on the way. Stop right now! Lord the Manson! Don't scare me! Okay. Oh hell. Alright. Go off into the better part of town, hopefully. Why? Why does it have me go around? I think it's leading me in the uh, roundabout way. <laughs> okay. Furnished rooms. Well, that's promising. But this, that's not where we're going. Right, we're going here. Alright, we're going here. This is fancy. So. 
Hello, sir. Hello. I hope they have rooms here. Definitely hope they do. Okay, it's an advertisement. Yep, I knew it'd start a cutscene. Okay. Stick them up, cowboy. <laughs> Dutch. Yeah, real funny, Dutch. <laughs> oh, I thought so. So, here we are in a strange land of papists and rapists. America's very own Gamora. This city's all of the same to me. So, how you get on? I've been asking around about Mr. Bronte. From what I've heard, this establishment is our best lead, but I haven't had any joy in there so far. So, I should just give it a shot? I think so. Just keep it cool. You know me? I'll meet you back here, Anon. Anon? to the bar. I guess I gotta do the quest. I knew that would happen since I arrived. Oh well. Funny you should say that. The, the, well, the place is locked until is. you do it, I so I, I might as well get it over with. Board for you. America's dirty little French secret. <laughs> That's why we love it. Born and raised. Um. Hmm. Well, I'm a transplant, but I'm never leaving. Not hey. Unless <clears> all get excuse me. Away. I'll get you in a second. Okay. Let me tell you something. The rest of the states, they'd lucky to have us. If it wasn't for us, they'd probably run back to Britain with the tails between their legs at the first sign of trouble. You got that right. Now, how can I help? You look like a whiskey man. Sure, but... Fine, I'll order a whiskey. Sure. Dollar, please. For a whiskey? Oh, that's the real stuff. From Scotland. Okay. Here, have one for yourself. Well, thank you. So, mister, can I ask you a question? You ever hear of a fella by the name of Bronte? <laughs> Who's asking? Me. I'm asking. No, leave it, Fred. What do you mean, leave it? Look, I don't know what business you're in, but leave it, Fred. You and your pal that was in here before. It's the daytime suddenly. Bronte? Angelo Bronte. Mr. Big, Mr. Italian, spaghetti eating, long streak of piss big. Yeah, he makes my skin crawl. I'm so squally a cocksucker. You know what I mean, friend? Where can I find him? Oh, well, I reckon you can talk to them kids in the alley. They'll know how I get. Okay. Oh, hey, friend, you'll be careful now. Immigrants, they're not to be trusted. All right. Well, it's daytime suddenly, so I guess I don't need a room after all. Get away from me. Excuse you. You're the one who stopped in the middle of the doorway. Good morning, sir. Hi. Did you have a good night's sleep? Because I didn't. You all right, girl? All right. So we need to talk to kids in the alley. Which is just like right behind here. I guess I didn't need to get on my horse. Never mind, Silverbell, you can stay here a little longer. Get you. <clears throat> They're driving really close to you. Alright, well let's um Now wait a minute. I I didn't want to do the quests yet. I wanted to do my errands first. <sighs> I wanted to go get my hair cut it's long enough to braid. Come on. Oh, look. It's right here. Bartender. I mean, <laughs> bartender. Barber. Barber is what I meant to say. So this is the better side of town. Howdy. Definitely. All right, there's the barber right there. there and hopefully, the wagons and stuff can get through here with the horse tied up. Hello. 
Hi. Looking for a trim? Yes, I sure am. So what'll it be today? Hair. It's gonna be hair for sure. I want to trim it. I don't really think I need styles. I actually like his hair long. Let me see. Yeah, I actually like it about that long. Just not that long. <laughs> so, okay, that's what I want. Oh, that's a bit better. Yes, okay. Everything else is fine. Thank you. All right, you're ready to go. If we please you, tell others. If we don't, tell us. Okay. Thanks for your assistance. Good morning. Hello. Am I blocking you? Sorry. The roads That's are just a little too girl. narrow, you know. <clears throat> Come on. Out I'm. Of the way. I'm moving as fast as I can. <sighs> whoa, whoa, you done good, girl. <laughs> Easy, Silver Bell. She's getting freaked out by that tiny horse that's pulling this wagon. Come on, out of the way. Okay, let's just go out here where there's no traffic. I'm just gonna stop right here for a second and get my bearings. Look at the map. All right, there's a tailor. I'm curious to see what they have to offer. Um, yeah. And I guess maybe we could go do, I'm gonna go look at the tailor and then after that, we'll go look at this, talk to these orphans or whatever they are. Street kids. <clears throat> Hmm. Return to the search area. I will. Come on now, get up. Whoa now. A very good morning to you. Yeah, I like this side of town better for sure. Here it is, right here. Okay. Sorry, lady. You have a problem, so what is it? No, I don't. I just I'm trying to hitch my horse to this thing. <laughs> Good morning to you. Everyone's so friendly most of the time. Alright, how do I actually get up there though? Oh, it's way down here. If they don't have a stair on this end. It's bad design. Hey, that's where you going. Sorry. Good morning to you. Uh, hi. Good morning. Okay. All the way down here. Right. Clothing. Furniture. Furniture. Clothing. Furniture. It's locked. Okay, is it on the other side then? The map told me to go to that side. Alright. Hello, good to have you. This place might be a little too fancy for me. But I will look. Now, let me see. <laughs> okay, I just want to see if they have anything different than the other places. The, yeah. View this one. Oh, no. <laughs> no. People around here come in just for those. They do, huh? What's this one look like? Uh, well, now I look like an immigrant, for sure. <laughs> not that that's a bad thing. I'm just not one. I didn't know. Uh, no. 
the hat is just not me. Oh, how about this fancy dancy one? <laughs> you can't beat an expertly put together outfit. In, yeah, none of those are one though, so. What's this hat look like? So, what do you think? Wearing it out? Hmm, I don't really like the color. Oh. The style's not bad, I guess. I don't know, I kinda, I really like his his default hat. I think it's just a really good uh, style on him. What does this one look like? That one's not bad either. What color speaks to you? That's similar to his default one. Only the brim isn't as folded. Um, hmm. Military scout hat. Nah. These town hats are, yeah, too fancy. These are these are goofy looking possum hats. We have styles for all persuasions, but I'm sure you'll look good in anything you choose. I'm sure I will. Yeah, so these look like they're all the same from the other stores too, I believe. See, that's the one he's got on already. It'll keep you warm and looking your best. Yeah, these are all the same. I do like that one. Now these coats are sturdy and they look great. Perfect for a week mm. in the woods or a night on the town. Right. I actually like that one. Except, I don't know if I like the color options. That one might not be bad. I, I don't like all the ch checker. That's not a bad color. Um, that's too red to, for me. Um, that one's not bad, I suppose. I don't know. I'm not really in Let the market for. Let me know for what I can do to help you leave here other feeling good and looking clothes great. Clothes right now. I'm just. I just wanted to see what they had available. That's all. If there was anything different. Yeah. Lots of boots. Hmm. Now, I think I'm good. I only stock the best in my shop. Buy from me, and you'll never be disappointed. Okay. All right then. But if there was anything in there yeah. that caught your eye, it'll be right here waiting for you. I don't know. I just like this outfit pretty good it's been good for me all right well thank you for your help now that we've done that um my horse is on the other side actually my horse is just down here sword oh sorry you didn't move though <laughs> Okay. All right. Well, why don't we go? Um, back and talk to those urchins. <laughs> um, uh, whoops. Okay. We shall do that. Good morning to you. Hello. Come on. Yes. Ask around about Bronte in the alley. Hello. Which alley? Actually. This alley. I suppose I can start here. I just need to keep an eye out for some children. doesn't become you. You always have to be right, don't you? I'm just giving you the correct Sorry. use of the word. Sorry, did I just walk if into your yard? you're feeling sick, you're not nauseous, you're nauseated. 
Right. You're nauseous and I'm nauseated. You're impossible. <laughs> okay, that's just somebody's backyard. Courtyard thingy. This alley's blocked, sort of, by a gate. Yes, it's definitely blocked. Okay. Go around. Come on, there's gotta be a way to get down into the alley. It's blocked by a gate. Okay. I wonder if I can open the gate. I might be able to open the gate. Let's, I'm gonna hitch her up here. So I can more easily go through into places. Let's see, I don't think there would be anybody like in here. Maybe there would. This is just like... Um, people's back courtyards and stuff. Why would there be street urchins hanging around in here, I wonder? Oh, hey! There's some. Hey, you got a cigarette, mister? Maybe. Huh? I'm looking for a fellow named Angelo Bronte. Italian. I know him. Everyone knows him. Where is he? We'll take you to him. What it'll cost. I reckon I can pay. Five dollars. Where's he live, New York? I'm an entrepreneur. You don't want to pay, then I don't want to walk. Oh, man. <laughs> That's a right there. Come on. This away. Let's go, mister. You coming, Cleet? Cleet? Stay close. Easy to get lost around here. No. Come on, then. You new to the city, mister? Pretty much. Don't worry, no one knows it as good as me and Cleet. Is that right? Hope you won't need his services, but you got the doctor on the corner there. Nice enough, fella. Hmm. That's Baird and Schreiber on the right there. Famous bookstore. Not that I'm much of a reader myself. Now over here's a real piece of art. That's the Church of the Holy Blessed Virgin, mister. Modeled on the famous church in Toulouse, which is in France. You been to Toulouse, mister? No. We're Catholics here, mister. Ain't Baptist or nothing. My mama said they used to burn Protestants and all, but, uh... Bet they don't have nothing so fine where you come from, mister. Look at them fine steeples. Hey, hey, you little pair of shits. Where'd he go? Get going! He's coming oh, after he's us! Oh, he's on the... Okay. You better stop right now. Math! Wait, what happened? No, no. Okay, I knew they were gonna do that. Bye, mister! <laughs> Don't slow down! Uh oh, the back of his coat, like, glitched out. Oh, seriously? Get back here! That's all my stuff. You ain't got a chance. Well, I'm increasing my stamina. What in the world happened to the back of his coat? I should have gotten my horse. Oh, he got off. Ah, oh, damn street trash. You up with that kid? How that shit went that way? Thanks for the help, friend. Hey, mister, you seen a boy running through here? I haven't, no. Maybe those gentlemen over there have. What the world's you know, going on with this That's hot. I don't. Hey, you see a kid about 14 years old run through here? Why, yes, we did. He went around the corner there. Damn snitch! That's enough. Come here! Hey! Moron! <laughs> Excuse me. Bye, mister! <laughs> oh, seriously? Help! No, don't go that way! 
go up, go up. Oh, seriously? Ah, shit. Just give it up, farm boy. No, you got I'll kill you, even bastard. You're making a fool of Ow. Just give it up, kid. My Little fool. Okay, you went in here. I can't ask them about the kid. I'm telling you, a cucumber is definitely a fruit. Stands for when? Stiff. Fellas, you seen a kid come through here? About 14, 15? Oh, yeah, he ran right to us. <laughs> ran around the corner there. Okay. <sighs> What's the problem, friend? Give me my thanks, boy. What are you talking about, friend? I ain't your friend, but that kid is. He robbed from me. Now give me back my stuff and take me to Angelo Bronte. Senor Bronte. That kid was gonna show me before he robbed me. <gasps> Ow. <laughs> Come on! You new in town, mister? Come on. Mr. Bronte's got a lot of friends, mister, but I ain't never seen you. We ain't friends. <laughs> you don't like no one, mister. Mr. Bronte, he's got fine hair. He got a beautiful house, and I am proud to work for him. He got 50 men, mister. Why are you gonna care a thing about you? I just want to speak with him. I'm sure you do, mister. You and them friends of yours been asking about him all over town. He been mighty disrespected. Bunch of muddy Yankees in town asking questions. Well, you and your friends should pay him a visit, mister. He's got a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Hey, yokel. Now, get out of here. Okay. <sighs> well, that increased my stamina, like, a lot. Okay, now where am I even? <laughs> it's gone. Uh oh, I want my map. I want my map. Oh my. I went long ways from where my horse is. So, that's right across from the saloon that we were just at. Or his house. Okay. Alright. Excuse me. Well, let's get... Oh no, it's around here. I'm seeing a... Is that a... Oh, is that that, um... Beggar guy? Hey! Will you help a fella out? Oh, that's a different guy. He's all drunk. Come on! No, I'm not gonna... I know you got some money! Nope, mm. I'm not gonna give you any money. Okay. Sorry, I just don't want to give money to a drunk guy. Because we'll just buy liquor with it. Alright, there's the gun store. Hello, sir. Hello. Which I do want to go in and like improve my guns at some point. <sighs> I just never take the time Hello. to do that. Um Hello, miss. Okay, it's Silver Bell, there she is. 
All right. Okay, my girl. Oh my, I need to brush her. You know what? I'm gonna do that real quick. <laughs> she is dirty. It's not as easy to tell when she gets dirty as it was with Jefferson, because she's so light colored. Yeah, there you go, girl. You know what? I'll feed you too. I bought you a carrot. There. All right, let's go. Looking better now. Why are you guys just sitting in the middle of the road? Alright, so we need to find this Angelo Bronte guy. He has a house on this street. Howdy, partner. Arthur. Oh, there's Dutch. Well, what do you know? Alright, hold on, let me hitch up the horse. There you are, girl. Well, why did you have me looking if you were just gonna go find him first? Hmm? Where you been? Getting robbed? Who by? Bunch of children. <laughs> I won't inquire anymore. But I found Mr. Bronte. Seems to be some Italian Mr. Big in town. Everybody knows him, but nobody wants to talk about him. Apparently he lives in a big house on Flavian Street, opposite the park. Huh. Oh. Good work. Okay. Well now, we go pay him a visit. I'll get John, you meet us there. Whatever it takes, we need to get that boy back. Yeah. Let's do it. I think I have time. I cannot decide which I like less. The swamps or the city. <laughs> Both are full of parasites, reptiles, and slime. We're a long way east of land we know, and far from real open country. We sure are. Where am I now? <laughs> Just plopped me in some random place? Um... Bueno. Hi. Oh! Alrighty. So, I'm next to the trapper. Okay, I'm at the market. What's this? There's a stranger mission there, and there's one here as well. Alright, so this is Flavian Street. Okay. So, should we do that first? Sort of follow the thread? And then after that, maybe do these stranger missions? Yeah, let's do that. We'll go do Dutch, the Dutch thing, and then we'll do the the stranger missions. Let me check camp though first. Oh, we got some here. We got Mary Beth needs to speak to me. And Strauss. Oh. We are going to be collecting debts again. Just in a new area. Alright, well, let's do this first, probably. Because it seems more like imperative to get it done. Uh, no, my horse is over here. Okay. So here's the market in the daylight. Morning, Mister. Hi. Okay. Morning to you, Pop. Did you call me Pop? They call me Pop. <laughs> All right. Let's go do that. The Dutch quest thingy. Because, you know, I'm only doing it next because it sounded like... Oh, so there's a stranger inside that grubby um, saloon. Okay. 
Because it sounded like, you know, you know, it's important. We need to get the boy back. That's what we just need to do next. It would be kind of weird if I just went off helping all kinds of other people first. Before we help our own, right? I mean, I normally like to do all of the... All the, um side missions before I continue any of the main quest, but for this particular one, it just feels like I should... Oh, excuse me! Oh my god! You just ran over me, man! Heads up! Heads up? I was going straight up on the road and you just... What? An idiot. Okay. Hi. People are friendly until you just walk in front of them and then they're nasty. There's the other Hello. There's the other stranger mission. Excuse me, sir. Can I bother you for a minute of your time? Not right now. Down here. Oh, there's Dutch. There they are right there. Can I... Yeah. Get some rest, girl. Is that his house right, right ahead there? There you are. You boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much, just these some slick little greasy-haired European clearly got power and money. Now, listen, if we go in there and start shooting up the place, the boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, he's gonna have a lot of protection. Ain't no one gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust me, this is the place. <clears throat> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? <laughs> you get your boss down here and now so we can talk about this okay. like Excuse gentlemen. Me, John. Run along now, boy. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. I got this. We got this, huh? Okay. Don't worry, boys. We come in peace. We just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. Why can't I walk any faster? I'm walking way slower than them. And it's not letting me go any faster. That's annoying. Wait. Chi sono sti buffoni? Sono qui per picciotto. Coi soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. Nice charm. So, <laughs> you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed you have. Now, we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers, it ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. 
was. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we we most surely were ignorant of. You, you, you twist words. You lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Teodoro. <laughs> that is a very still woman here. <laughs> Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur. <laughs> the pleasure is mine. John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> But uh, yeah, there it should is. I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Uh, of course I know you would not want that, huh? Uh, no. No, no, no. So how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in the cemetery. You know, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they run a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Linde, well, you tell me more about my manners. <laughs> Okay. Salute. Uh, salute. All right. Well, oh, now I can run. So we gotta go stop grave robbers. And now it's dark suddenly. Grave robbers? You think he's taking us for a fool? No idea. What choice do we have? None, I guess. This is idiotic. You know where the cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope... He's okay. He'll be fine. I figure... The Braithwaites were gonna hold Jack Branch. For all the money we cost him. They must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But... Bronte knows by now there's no Braithwaites left to pay him. Jack ain't much use to him anymore. Let's just get this done. Let Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. But is it going to be the only thing he wants us to do? That's a good question, I think. Okay. I think this is it. Keep it down. Let's hitch the horses up ahead. I can't even see anything. Can... Is there a hitching spot there? I can't see one. We should go on foot from here, Arthur. Well, fine. I guess I'm not hitching my horse up. Okay. Okay. We'll just go. We're going to a cemetery at night. Well, it's a good thing it was night time when we came out of that guy's house. Even though it was this morning way. when we went in. Okay. All right. Let's see what's going on in here. I'll check this way. I guess I will check this Keep way. Keep it down. Don't want him to bolt on us. All right. Oh, there's a woman.
Okay. A dog. Hey there, boy. Well, they can't be far. Let's keep going. I'll try this way. Okay. Then I'll try this way. I hear people coughing. Hold on. Locate the disturbance. Stop. Wait. Hey, wait a second. Shush. What? Who are you telling to be quiet? There's nobody here. Wow. Somebody sounds really sick. John. I'm over here. I can't hear you. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I had a bit to drink. Your friend died. Okay. I can't talk. They can hear us, you know. They're still with us. You should get yourself home. Yeah. Okay, that's not it. What? What's up with this woman who's sort of ghostly following us around? It's a big cemetery. It almost looks like a mini city. <laughs> miniature buildings with a miniature street. <laughs> That's weird. Well, looks like someone's been here. I'll go first. You stay close. Um, go first to what? Hmm, okay. I'm going over towards the yellow smudge on the map. This is where I'm going. Why do I get the feeling Bronte's got his feet up laughing at us? Yeah. He probably is. Uh huh. I hear something in there. Get in cover, and we'll bust the door in. Okay. You boys found my puppies watching! No. Are we just gonna, it. We're gonna kill him? You, you should have paid Mr. Bronte. Bastards are trying to draw us out. Yep, they are. Do I have a better gun? Because, yeah. We can't be worth a damn. We sure picked the right night for it. Let's get after him. No, don't jump up there. What are you doing? Get down. No doubt. No, you make them do the hard work, did Come on, damn it. We're gonna lose them. I'm hardly see what I'm shooting there. Who do you think you are? Is that John? That is John. Sorry. Dutch can go and I'll have the drink. You made a big mistake coming in, huh? Wow. Sure hope they ain't seeing better than we are. Just keep your head down. Gotta be around here someplace. Okay, but we'll need to be quick. We can't go back to Bronte empty handed. Let's have a look where they first shot at us from. Okay. Probably grave robbers. We've hit the big town. Yes, I will I will go do that. But first I'm gonna loot them. They have actually some decent money on them. They've each had around. Like I said, let's look around where they jumped. Yes. Yes, we will. I'm just gonna... 
just gonna grab the money. And that's all. They've each had around nineteen. We can't go back to Bronte with nothing to show for it, Arthur. Let's go then. Let's go. We'll go back here. Come on, John. Wait, there's one more guy right here. Come on. Let's quickly check that spot where it all kicked off. Yes, let's do it. Come on. Um. Can I use eagle vision to find it? No. I think there might be something oh. in here. Just a little coin purse sitting there. That's it. Got it. Good. Now let's get out of here. Damn, the law's here. Come on, let's see if that gate's open. It's locked. We'll have to go back the way we came. Damn it. Okay. Come on. We best stick to the side. Are you leading the way or me? Okay. Coming this way, get down. I found a body. You did. It looks fresh. Where'd it's it come bleeding. from? We didn't fight over Must here. Just been killed. They're still here. Okay. Stay close. We're going toward it? Them. Why don't you go left? I'll keep going straight, all right? Okay. Come on, quick. Let's get back to Dutch. Come on. I think we lost. Well, it's lucky I ain't a religious man. Let's just get back there, collect our side of the deal. You all right? He best not be playing games with us. He almost certainly is. Yeah. Let's just see. Keep your head. Act normal. How's he even gonna know we did what he asked? I got a feeling most things around oh. here get back to him pretty Sorry. fast. Like I said, we'll just see where we're at once we got Jack. God damn it! Well, come on! Stop I'm going! Like a damn fool. Then stop going the wrong way! <laughs> huh. We're turning here, right. okay? Let's get this done. <sighs> let me hitch my horse over here. Will it, will it let me? Nope. Fine. Well, you took your time. Where's your host? Ah! Like I said, you took your time. Ah! I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, hmm. friend. Thank Mr. Bronte for right? everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. You know, Arthur. Well, that was easier. Mr. Bronte <laughs> has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> and oh, yeah, us, just simple country boys. There. Okay, girl. Hmm. 
Let's go! We have a new camp set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. Oh. We're gonna go back to camp? All right. Let's get this boy back to his mother. You sure you're okay, son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. Papa Bronte. I'm, I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. And lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. <laughs> Is that right? Papa Bronte teach me lots of Italian words. Don't call him that, please. You know, cavallo? That means horse. And pantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, uh, I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, yes. I had the best time. But I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. Yeah. Can I? Oh, I can talk to you. Real good to see you, Jack. You too, Uncle Arthur. Did you catch the bad guys? Which ones? At the graveyard. Uncle Dutch and Papa Bronte told me. Just Mr. Bronte. Yeah. Me and your pa dealt with him. I told him you would. Wait till you see this new camp. Not another one. Well, this one's got a house. Not as nice as Mr. Bronte's, mind you. That's okay. We'll get you settled and cleaned up in no time. Oh, I had a bath last night. <sighs> of course you did. <laughs> uh. Well, at least Dutch knows where he's going. Because <clears throat> that's not the way we went into town. No siree. Hey, they're back! I think I see Jack! Abigail! Abigail! We got you, your son, everything! We got him! Mama! He's fine! I'm fine, Mama. They fed me good. <laughs> and they gave him the fancy <laughs> clothes. Did you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. Uh, <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Dutch, Arthur, thank you. Thank you. Um, she's not gonna I thank got my son John. Back. Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? <sighs> so, well... We met Mr. Bronte. Hmm. He is, uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur, thank you. Boys, we got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back! <laughs> well, the boy's safe, thank goodness. Everyone thank you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. All right. Cool. We got quite a bit of money from that. All right. So. How about a song? Huh? Oh, yeah. Hot air. <laughs> Play us away. Can I sit? <laughs> All right, well, happy endings. <laughs> Oh, 
Come on, Arthur, sing. <laughs> Ese lunar que tiene cielito lindo junto a la boca. Well, no se lo I suppose this is a good ending for the episode. Cielito lindo que a mí me toca. Ese lunar que tiene cielito uh, lindo over time junto quite a, bit. a la boca. No se lo des a nadie. Cielito lindo que a mí me toca. Ay, 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 ay. Cantando se alegra el cielito lindo los corazones. Ay, 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 ay. All right. <laughs> I will see you guys next week. Cantando se alegra el cielito lindo los corazones. <laughs>